I'm Kara. Welcome to my craft room. I have a special needs adult son and he tears the tickets at our local movie theater. And I made this one for his birthday. But I also made one that just said, you're a star. And that way, you know, it can be for graduation. It can be just for a pick me up. It can be for anything. So these cards are small, but they, they carry a big punch. But they're small enough that you can make the envelope out of a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of copy paper. So that helps. And so I left it blank on the front. I really like that graphic. And then when you open it up, you get a huge payoff. This, I put your star on this one. You can substitute that out for the happy birthday. But first, I need you to go down in the description there's a cricut link there and that's going to link you to the base for this card and the other ones that i've made just like this um if you click on it it will take the card base and load it right up onto your cricut and so you'll be ready to go so let's go make it okay here we are if you clicked the cricut link in my description this is what you have on your canvas. If you didn't, please pause, go down in the description, click on the Cricut link, and Cricut will load this card base up onto your canvas. Okay, first thing, these four squares we are not going to use for this project. So let's delete those. We're going to use the film strip instead. Here's your envelope. This first is going to be yellow. And then let's go with the bright yellow. Okay. This is going to be white. White. That'll be the background for your film. This is going to be black. Oops. Find it on here. Highlight it. Black. Okay, and these three, if they don't have a score or pen, you can pick all of them, and they're all going to be the same color. So we're going to go to Edit down here, and we're going to do the bright red. There we go. There's all our colors, and these are all the colors we're going to use. We're going to use one lighter color yellow, and other than that, that this is it. I am all about um, cutting less mats. Okay, so now let's go get our images. If you have never looked up images before by their code number, let me show you how to do that. All Cricut images start with hashtag capital M. Then let's see, let's do the popcorn box. It's going to be 2FF0A. Now you see that I have your list of all your different images that I need you to go ahead, look up, get them put on the canvas so we can get the card made. So you're just gonna click on this. You see it puts it down here by add. Do that with all of your images. So I'm gonna fast forward through here, go through all of your um images that you need grab them get them put on the canvas i'll meet you over there Okay, here we are on the canvas. We've got all of our images that we needed. Now, depending on whether you're doing your a star or happy birthday. First, let's go ahead and do all the sizes. Let's do the, um, the film reel first. You go to edit. Height is going to be 10 inches. And then we're going to make the width just a little bit smaller. And when you're going to change both sides, you need to unlock this button. So 10 is the height, 3 is the width. 
There we go. Now it's going to turn sideways and let's just stick it up here for right now. Okay, this is the reel that goes on the bottom. Now make sure that your lock again is um, locked and then it's going to be 2.5 on the width. Okay, that goes down here. Hold on. Your clapboard and your tickets are both going to be 1.75 wide. So 1.75. Okay. And this is also 1.75. There we go. The camera is going to be two inches high on this side over here. Sometimes I do height. Sometimes I do width. You know what? I think I did this one wrong. Okay, and then the tickets are going to be 1.75 high. Okay, those go up here. Your film reels are going to be 1.75 high. There we go. Those are your four windows. Your popcorn bucket is going to be 3.25 wide. 3.25. There we go. The Yora Star is going to be three inches wide. And if you're doing the happy birthday, it's going to be 3.25. Now, I am going to do these two last. Okay, this goes right here on the front. Okay, these three little guys are going to go down here with this film, film reel right here now first let's go into layers and let's it'll be it'll be grayed out so let's find that first we do not need the black circle so i'm going to hit the i and get rid of that and actually both of these are exactly the same i mean you can do all three colors if you want i didn't i don't think it really matters so i'm also going to take away the um uh, the second color of that and then let's see how big these are 1.5 1.5 1 and they're just going to be on a little pile right here because there's always popcorn on the floor correct Okay, this guy, he is, we've already got his size. Let's change his color to the bright yellow. There we go. And that goes right on here. And I am going to put one in one score line. Uh, basically, because since you're folding it up into fours, it's good to have one right in the middle because that is going to help you start it but the other folds you got to wait and i'll show you this on the craft table so let's go into shapes down here we're going to pick and as you can see it's already dotted we know that this is three inches high so let's change that to three inches and then we're going to put it right here in the middle so i'm going to go here Okay, if it's a little bigger than what we're doing right there. There you go. Now, once you've got that right in the middle, you can tell with the purple lines. You're going to drag your finger. You're going to grab both of those. And you are going to hit attach. That tells Cricut to put that score line on that piece of paper. So there, that's done. Okay, so all we have left are these two. Now... First, let's change the color since we've already changed the sizes. The black will stay black, but the gold I'm going to change to the bright yellow. So let's go in here. Let's highlight that. Edit, color, bright yellow. There we go. Just like that. And then on the happy birthday, the happy let's go find it there it is the happy it is going to be the red so let's do the bright red we will make sure all of these colors match here in just a little bit and then the birthday part we're going to have the bright yellow 
There we go. And it doesn't have to match exactly the color that you're, the yellow that you're using. Okay, first let's do that you're a star. You're gonna go to edit, and then M pentagon, whatever it is. Okay, you're gonna click on that. And as you can see, it's really big. And I actually wanted it a lot smaller, so it's basically just going around each letter. Now, now if you like it all solid like this, hey, go for it. But I actually wanted it down to where it's pretty close. I'm going to do a little tiny bit more. On mine, it's 0 0.059. So, I mean, you can just click on here on the number, and I'm going to just put... 0.6 since it was 0 0.059. Oops, 0 0.06. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to hit done. Now, you can see on here that it makes automatically makes it a dark gray, and I'm going to change that to white. And of course, whoop, look what happened. I forgot. We got to group this up first. There we go, just like that. We're gonna drag our finger across, hit group, and that way we can put it up here where it goes. You're gonna go to edit, hit arrange, bring to front, there's that. And then the happy birthday. Now, we're still in edit. And I want the happy and birthday words closer together. So I am going to ungroup them. There we go. I'm going to make this bigger so we can see. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. I'm actually going to put the red happy on top of, well, you can put it either on top or behind. That's up to you. I just want it a little closer. And let's make sure that it's still in the middle. Yeah, there we go. Now, I'm going to grab both of those, group them together. And then we're going to do another offset. So we're going to go to edit, hit offset. This one, I don't want all those holes in between the the letters. There, like that. See? So there it says 0.15. Let's check and see if 0.15 works. There you go. Done. And change that to the bright white. There we go. Happy birthday is done. And that one goes up here if you're not going to do the your star. Now, the, the next thing we need to do is check our colors. Now, we want to cut as few of mats as we have to. So first, we're going to change. All, we're going to make sure all these blacks are together. So you're just going to hold down the three lines and just keep sliding stuff up. Of course, you can go in through editor or layers and do the same thing. Now, you're going to need a light gray and a dark gray. If you don't care about that, you can make them all the darker gray. Okay. And this one, I want to make the dark gray too. There you go. And of course, if you want to just go ahead and do them all dark gray, you can. If you want them to, to contrast you can do that too now we are going to move the popcorn down to the red the popcorn box pieces there we go okay speaking of popcorn box do you see this piece right here okay i when i put mine together i never used it i don't know why they have you cut it you don't need it but i'm gonna leave it in there you know just in case now this light yellow of this popcorn, I'm going to move it down here with this other light yellow. I'm going to move this. This should be the bright white, which should be at the very bottom. There we go. Okay. I want it. Oops. I don't know what I just did there. Okay. I wanted the popcorn box to be bright white. I just like that better. I think it looks better um, against the red. So I'm gonna drag both of these pieces, and then it also gives you contrast between your popcorns. So this, okay, uh, look at your popcorn. This one right here, it needs to be the, the brighter yellow. You see right there, see how that changed? And then of course you have the lighter yellow, which shows up as tan here, close enough. 
if I did a light yellow and a darker yellow, that's your decision. And then on this darker yellow, it needs to go down here with these. So let's see if we've got it. We've got white, we got the dark yellow, the light yellow, red, grays, and black. Boom, done. Okay, now we're out of sync. Now, it, um, for it to go really fast once we get onto the craft table, if you will do me a favor, if you will put this together, which whichever one of these you're going to use, your your film, your clapboard, your film reel. If you will go ahead and and probably these little popcorn guys too. If you will go ahead and glue all of those together, once we get to the craft table, it's going to go really really fast. So do all that. And I will meet you over the craft table and we'll get it put together. Okay, here we are at the craft table. As you can see, it is well loved. Um, let's, my first tip is I put everything on separate paper plates so I can keep track of everything. Um, it doesn't matter as much on these since you guys have already glued a bunch of the stuff together. But first, let's go ahead and do this. I know I explained on the canvas that we only did the one bend, and I want to show you why. When you put two pieces of paper together, they got to have enough give to bend, okay? So, we're going to do this in steps. Um, before that, though, my other tip, I use Art Glitter Glue. It dries clear. It dries fast. I get the refill and the little bottle with this little tiny tip. A little bit goes a long way. Okay, so here is your base paper. You're going to fold the middle down and both sides up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do that. And then you're going to go ahead and fold on your... Um, you're going to go ahead and fold it in the middle on your score line. Okay. Now, we're only going to glue along here and along here because this has to have give. Okay. So, we're just going to do right along this line, this fold. Okay. Because it's got to fold right for it to fit into our envelope. Okay. Let's line it up. Let's make sure it folds well. Okay, make sure it's good and on there. Okay, there we go. Okay, now while it's folded in half, let's go ahead and do this part. Because if you don't do this in stages and you don't give it enough give, it will not fold down nicely and stay in your card for when it goes into the envelope. So now we're only doing this. I didn't really glue much around the, the fold, okay? I just want this glued to lay down because we know it fits because we keep it folded here, right? Okay, so now fold this part back and we're going to put more glue on it. Okay, this is a little different from all these other ones that I've made just because we're putting a long piece on a long piece. So now all you're going to do is close it just like that. Okay, now if any of your white shows back behind the yellow, don't worry about it. We can trim it right off. It's not a big deal. Okay, there you go. Okay, now you'll see that this is going to bend right. Now, when you open it, it's going it's going to only stay open about this much, and that's that's the right way to do it. Okay, so then we're going to do this other side the exact same way we just finished. So we're going to flip this up, get these sides glued, just like this. There we go. Uh, Luckily, this glue does clear. Okay. And now we're going to flip this over and do this part. Okay. The exact same way. 
we have to make sure that it's going to fold okay. Because if it doesn't fold right, and you can't get it in your envelope. So, there, and then we're just going to close this. Okay, there we go. We've got this done. Now, normally, I don't have to do this. I'm just, I just put the little panels on each square. But this one is going to be a little bit different. Okay, now, if you have some white showing, do you see where I have that little sliver of white showing? We're just going to trim it right off. Okay, it, it doesn't make it better or worse. Now, you can see where this is kind of, and, it, and the white doesn't quite match up, and I don't like that. If it doesn't bother you, don't worry about it. I'm just going to, nobody's going to notice that this was trimmed off a little bit, except for you. So, there you go. Uh, let's go ahead and get the four things um, glued on here. And that way, um, the whole thing can dry. Okay. Here is your camera. I cut off the legs because I just wanted it to fit better. And then your two reels. And you'll see, I think we talked about this on the canvas, that I did everything in black, white, or gray. I wanted this whole thing to be yellow, black, and white. So let's do this one first. Now you have a choice. You can do these at an angle. You can do them straight up and down. It just kind of depends on your personal thing. Since these reels on the other end were turned, I'm going to turn this this camera a little bit. Try to keep it as close as I can inside the white square. There we go. We're going to glue this guy down too. Okay. I probably talked about this on the canvas. I have a special needs adult son and he works at our local movie theater. He tears the tickets at the ticket podium. So, um, and he absolutely loves it. Okay, the clapboard. Again, you have a choice. You can go straight here, but since we're gonna turn the tickets, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this also. And you'll see where this is giving a little bit. That's fine, that's because that's so it will bend right. So not a big deal. Now the tickets are gonna be a little bit tougher. You're gonna start with this little bitty piece. Okay, there you go. And it's gonna overlap the yellow just a little bit, All right, right there, okay? Then you will do this part, and it just snugs right up where the other part is. Okay, this notch slips right into that notch, about right there. You're gonna leave a little bit of space. Oops, sorry, got, uh, got interrupted. Okay, now, then all you have is this little square with the star on it, and that is gonna go right in the middle. And you are gonna already be done with this whole panel. I know it looks complicated, but once you break it down, it's easy. Just like that. There you go. Look, your whole panel's done. Okay, so now let's get the rest of this. Okay, first we need the red squares on the inside of our card. They're going to go about a quarter inch all the way around. So let's get those done. I'm going to go ahead and pull these off and get this out of our way. I use those same paper plates over and over and over again. The ultimate recycling. Okay. About a quarter inch all the way around. There you go. We are not going to put the sentiment or um, anything else on here until we get our mechanism put in here. Okay. 
because if we mess up, we would have to make everything all over again. And we're gonna do the same with the cover first, and I will show you what I mean. Okay, we're gonna let those dry for a second. Your third red square is for your cover. There's not a whole lot to do here, okay? It's pretty simple. Now, you have a choice. You can bring this way down here as far down into the corner as you'd like. You can put it right in the middle. It's your decision. It's your card. That's what's good about doing it yourself. And I liked mine far down and over. I don't know why. I just did. So there's your, there's your cover. We're not going to glue it on yet. Like I said, if we mess up the inside, then we'd have to do this whole thing over again, and we don't want to have to do that. So, now, again, looks complicated. I'm going to make it easy for you. You have a yellow piece, and it's got crisscross um, score marks on it. Okay. So, this, the first, we're just going to bend it down at that first score line, just like that. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side. This is to get it started. Okay, and now we're gonna go back the other way. Just like that. And then this one, this long one that goes down the middle, we're gonna fold it into itself, just like that. Okay, now, do you see how that's doing where the triangles are kind of by themselves and these are bending in? That's exactly what you want. Okay, so we're going to grab it here. We're going to bend. I'm, I'm slowly closing my fingers, okay, until it comes down and makes like a little house. And it doesn't matter if it's, it's different lengths. It doesn't matter. It'll still work the same. Okay, so now when we're going to put that down really good. Okay, now. This is going to go right here, right in the fold. And you need it pretty tight up in there. Okay, so we're going to make sure we get it right in the middle, right in the fold. Okay, just like that. Okay, but we are only going to be gluing the triangle parts. Just this. That's the only place that glue goes on. So first, let's do the underneath. And you want to put some pretty good glue on here. Normally, I don't worry too much about how much glue I put on cards because they're cards. They're not, you know, going to be heavy duty used. But for this, this is holding your whole mechanism. So you want quite a bit of glue. Okay, now I'm going to do this sideways so you guys can see better. Got a little bit of glue on here. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to put this up like this so I make sure I get this good and in here. Make sure I get it in the middle or close as I can. There we go. Just about like that. Make sure that it is straight. And there you go. And I'm going to close the card to make sure that it's in the right spot. The card has to close for you to put it in your envelope. Okay, now you got the bottom done. And remember, you're going to have some wet glue, so you're going to have to keep it open for a while. Okay, and now we're going to do this other triangle. Okay, this one's the easy one. Still going to lay on the glue because we this is what your pop-up's going to be supported on. And then all you have to do is close your card. There you go. Okay, let's give it a second to dry, and look at that. You got your mechanism on. Great job. Okay, now let's get this put on. Okay, now this goes right in the middle, and you can make this go out pretty flat, okay? But you don't want to leave it that way because because you don't want it to dry, okay? Now, I am going to... This is going to go right in the middle where your where your triangles are. It doesn't have to be exact, but you want it to be pretty close. It's going to exactly match up on the other yellow, okay, just like that. And then you're going to fold this back, and we're going to glue this square above the fold. That's it. 
Okay, see the square right here? We're only going to glue this part. Uh, and I got a little glue run over, so I want to make sure that that doesn't keep doing it. And then you just open it up and smooth it down, just like that. There you go. Now we're going to do the other side the same way. And if it's a little off, again, we can trim off the yellow so it's not a big deal. So then you're going to flatten it back out again. You're going to pull this over. And this time we're going to do the bottom square. Okay. Just like here. I'm trying to do this with my left hand. I'm not very good at it. Okay, and then we're going to just smooth this down, just like that. And now you can see that I didn't match mine up real good. Not a big deal. Okay, let me double check and make sure this is working. Okay, we're doing good here. Okay, don't do this too much. You need to let it dry a little longer. Okay, now you see where I got this out of whack. Um... And that'll happen. It's not a big deal. Look, we're just going to trim it right off right there. Just like that. And then a little bit on this one. It's not a big deal. It happens all the time. Okay, look at that. Now, once it dries, you're going to need to kind of work it like this a bunch. So it gets used to opening and closing all the pieces of paper but wait till it dries, okay? So now here's your choice. If you're using your star uh, instead of the birthday, there you go. Add your extra A right here and your extra little yellow stars, done. If it's birthday, you're gonna do this. Very simple, done. And this part, they both, um, they go with both. So I'm gonna, we're gonna go ahead and do the bottom and do the cover, and then the phrase is whatever you would like. Okay. So first, let's put this guy on here. Okay, and this goes right here, just like this. See that? Okay, I'm going to hold it on one side once I get where I want it. Run a line of glue and glue it down just like that. And then go up under here and get what I missed. It's easier to do the film first and then come back and do the reel. So let's do that. Still plenty of room for you to sign. There, just like that. Okay, and then there's always popcorn. Okay, like I said, my special needs adult son works at our local movie theater. And he tears the tickets, look, just like that. And it depends on how you want to do your popcorn. That's your decision. Again, this is your card. Anyway, there is always, he is always... Um, sweeping up in the lobby where the concessions are. It's a very small theater. And because there's always a few pieces of popcorn on the ground. And it's just the, the nature of popcorn. So I thought it would be fun to add a few little loose popcorn guys. Okay, we only have one more thing left to do. Of course, you're going to put your phrase, whichever one you're going to use. Then we're going to close this. Look at that. Look how good you're doing. We're going to put the cover on here. Make sure you get all the little corners because it will pop up if you don't. Okay, and again, this is going to be the same as the inside ones. It's going to be about a quarter of an inch all the way around, just like that. And look, <laughs> look what you did. You made it. 
You did a great job. I am really proud of you.